Welcome to Wild West Chainsaw Shop. And that is a John Surrad uh, 625, I believe. I don't really know. It's got, it says 625 on the, uh, on the tag there. But uh, I think it's kind of an equivalent to a, a Husqvarna 261 or 262. It's got very similar architecture to the uh, to my 266, and in fact, the the muffler I've taken the muffler off it. It's identical to, well, not identical. It's 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 a interchangeable with the muffler on my 266 and my some of these pipes that I got over here that that I've built. They fit on it, so I'm probably going to put this pipe on it and. Um, I'm planning on sending this saw to Ryan at R RH uh, Performance and Machine. He's going to warm it up a bit for me, but I, I want to get it running first. So um, there is an issue with it. Uh, either somebody ran it too lean or it got straight gassed. I'm, I'm suspecting it got ran too lean because the ring is um, uh, the ring groove. There's some pretty heavy scoring on the front of the piston at the exhaust port, and the ring has become um, captured by in the groove. It's not free to move anymore. The saw does have some compression, but it's um, I can't get it to fire. So, um, anyways, I'll, uh, I'll I'll see if I can show you that scoring on the piston before I take it apart. I think you should be able to see that. You can see in there where the there's there's like no separation. Like the the piston material is bridged right over the ring. So it's not able to move out to the cylinder wall and seal. But I'm gonna see if I can get that ring out of the piston, clean it up a bit, put it back together and make the saw run. Okay, now we can really see what's going on here. See that? See how that's melted away there? That is nasty. <laughs> oh boy. She run hot. Really hot. Melted it. I think I can, I can clean that up. It's not going to be uh, what I would call a reliable part. But I think I can clean that up. And the piss, or the cylinder doesn't look too bad. There's some, uh, looks like some aluminum transfer on out of the piston or the cylinder wall. And I believe this is what they call open transfers. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and try and clean this up, get that ring out of there. So you can see how it sticks out over here, right? But it's not sticking out at the front. It's just, it's just trapped in there. That is ugly. It's like a cutting torch, right? Every time it fires, fires just going down here. And the worse it gets, the worse it gets. It just keeps melting and melting and melting until it's just completely destroyed, which is pretty much what it is already. But I think I can get that ring out of there. I've done this before on dirt bikes. So let's see what happens. So I got the ring out and it looks, you know, I did a little bit of work on it, filed off some of the melted aluminum and stuff, but it looks, it's in good shape. It's still got a good round shape to it and you can see the gaps, how, how nicely they're lining up, right? So there's no indication to me that this ring is deformed. So when I squeeze it, do they just, they touch, they're not offset. Like, see if it was like that when I squeezed it, 
You see that offset? Then I'd be worried. But this is this ring's in good shape. It might be a little bit collapsed, but I, I even doubt that because, like I said, if it was collapsed in this area here, it would cause a misalignment here. So the piston, of course, the piston's nasty. You can see you can see how the groove here. See how it steps down? There's an overlap there. I think that's just on the very outside. So I'm gonna. I'm just going to use the ring. Maybe I can show you that. I'm just going to use the ring itself and just keep dragging it through that area until that kind of cleans up. I don't want to go in there with a file or anything because I don't want to increase the width of this gap any more than it. Well, it's not increased. It's 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 made it's been made smaller, but I don't want to I don't want to open it up to the point where the ring is flopping around in there. So I'm just going to keep doing this until it until it moves through there easily. And this ring is is uh, made out of. See, there a piece just came off there. This ring's made out of steel. It's like high high carbon spring steel, right? Maybe it's cast iron. I don't know. I don't think it's cast iron, or, or it probably would have broke by now with me. You know how I was hitting it and trying to pull it out of there. Yeah, so I just want to get that that offset. I might I might go in just and dress the the very edge of that ring groove with a with a file. There's another spot on this side where it's doing the same thing. It's sliding through there pretty nice now. There is there is resistance, but it's it's coming. It's coming along, and I can see I can see a shiny spot there, so I know it's working on a spot there. I'm not saying this is the way to do things, but if you were, you know, say if you were stuck out in the bush somewhere camping and your saw, you, you know, you 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 warmed up your saw a bit too much and you wanted to keep keep it going. For the weekend or whatever, or the week you're in the bush and you didn't have any parts available, this is what you would want to do, right? Or if you just wanted to uh, have a saw, you know, if you had a saw that you just threw behind the seat of your truck that you only used once in a while in, in a jam, this would be fine. This isn't a saw that I would want to take firewood cutting all day because <laughs> it would just, it would probably let me down, right? It's starting to look pretty good, actually. I know it would let me down. It's going through there nice now. I can still see that offset right on the on the lip. Yeah, it's really it's really getting through there, no problem now. So I might just go see if I can find a a fi fine file. And just hit that lip there. And as you can see, it's too wide to go in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grind one side of it down a little bit, just like the first inch or so. I don't want to ruin the whole file. And then I can just run it in there and just dress that. Okay. Now you can see, so I, I've got this ground down here on the end, and I've just I I, fit, I made it so it fits in the good part of the piston, and there's really no play there; it just goes in there nice. So now I'm just going to keep pushing it through this this part here, and I, I think I'm even going to drag it backwards because it's easier. 
I'm just going to keep pulling it through here until it just glides through there nice. Let's just try it from this direction. I want to be careful because I don't want to mess this up. Right? I don't want to open this up more than it needs to be. And this is the worst spot right here. Stay in the frame here for you. It's going to take time. Just a little bit of finesse work here. I don't want to I don't want to make this groove so the top and the bottom isn't parallel anymore because that, that'll make the, the ring flop around in the groove. This is the worst spot right here. Let's, let's clean it up. I'm not gonna no, just uh, I'm not gonna talk about that yet. Let's just get this dressed here. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Yeah, that's looking good. You're not sliding through there nice. There we go, I think I got it. I don't want to do it any more than that. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, maybe a little bit folded over here still. Right there, you can see a bit of a transition. Let's start here. It's it's always going to be a problem. I mean, like this, like I said, this isn't this isn't a real. This is a bush fix, right? This is for cheap guys like me that don't want to spend any money. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Find the rings right here. In the ring. The ring slides through there nice. It doesn't hang up. It might be a little bit tight right there. I don't know, I think it's okay. See how, let's see, it's, yeah, no. There's some carbon in back in there. That's coming out. Hey. Hey, saw man. Fixing the saw. Fixing the saw.
saw. Right? Doing a bush fix on a saw. Yeah. This is Gabe's saw. Oh. Somebody got it. Uh, somebody ran it too lean and melted the piston. What? Yeah, see? The ring was all stuck in there. It was all kind of melted over top of the ring. Nice. But I got the ring out. So, I'm going to save it. This is the, I'm going to send this saw away to get uh, some port work done on it. Mm. I just thought I'd get it running first. Are you going? Um, what, what, what is it? What is that? Eighth of an inch? That's eight. Yeah. Okay. Let me buy some more. Okay. Thank you. So, I'm happy with that ring groove now. So, I'm just going to clean this up a bit more. So this is what I was going to talk about. I'm not going to go crazy cleaning this up. In fact, what I'm going to do is put this sandpaper on the back of this file. I just want to knock off any high spots. Because this piston's already compromised in size-wise. It's probably considerably smaller now because a lot of this material has been ground off it. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. I can still see, like in between the scratches, I can still see the uh, this sort of pattern that's on here. A little bit scratched up on the intake side too. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get too carried away with it. It's... Uh, going to be okay. It'll be a place, place for oil to hide and lubricate the skirt. So now i got to work on this cylinder. I don't know if you can see in there, see that spot right there, there's aluminum transfer right there. I can feel that. So i got to get that off. And I'm just going to do that with this hunk of sandpaper I got here. easy. This is kind of an old worn out hunk of 80 grit sandpaper. I don't want to... I think I'm okay. The gasket's okay. I want to reuse that gasket. I've got to go above the port too. That's, that's, that's feel. Yeah, I can feel all along the top, there's melted aluminum up in there. Let's get that out. This should be good. See how this piston fits in here. I mean, it was going up and down before, it wasn't seized up. It's actually a pretty nice fit. It feels like when, uh, yeah, it goes past the ports, it actually, see how it, it slowly slides down. So there's, it's actually making a little compression. Even here, you can hear that? It's making a hissing sound. 
So even without the ring in there, it's making compression. So that tells me this fits pretty good. There's no oil on it or anything. Well, not, you know, no significant amount of oil. That's good fitting there. That's 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 a positive thing. You get a good piston fit. Of course, I'm not gonna. You know, I don't think it's necessary for me to to you know do any measurements on this because it was it was a running saw. I'm not fitting a new piston to it. I'm just putting the old one back in. I don't think there's going to be any clearance issues. You can still see a little bit of stuff on the cell here. I don't want to wreck that gasket. Gives this down a bit. This was a saw that one of my employers gave me. Yeah, he, uh, he brought it to the shop one day and said it had no spark. And he kind of took it apart. I don't know. It was sitting up upstairs for like <laughs> a year or two, maybe. And then uh, when my boys came to work at the shop. Uh, my son asked, well, actually, I think I asked my boss about it. I said, what are you going to do with that saw? He said, oh, you, you want it? <laughs> I said, yeah, sure, I'll take it. So I gave it to my kid. But anyways, I think we're going to save this thing. thing will power up. There we go. Yeah, there's a bit of aluminum at the top still. Just a little bit still down here. So I want to get all that aluminum off. I don't want it coming off when the saw is running. And balling up and causing issues. Sorry, I don't know if you saw that. So you can still see a little bit of aluminum transfer on the bottom of the exhaust port. And then, and then there's still a little bit right up at the top where, where the uh, above the ring. So I don't want that coming off while the saw is running. And you know, it'll, it could end up taking back onto the piston and then there's going to be a clearance issue and then there'll be it'll create more problems I'm just going to let you go here I'll be back okay I'm happy with this now got, I got it all out of there it looks good. There's some scratches in it, but that's to be expected. I'm not going to worry about it. There, uh, yeah, I don't know if I can, I, I guess I can feel them with my finger now. But, you know, they're, they're not terrible. You know, any, any, any vertical scratches are bad, obviously, but that's what we got, so I can't spend all day. <laughs> I'm not going to bore it out put a new piston in it, if you can even do that. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to clean this up and put it back together. So I've got everything cleaned up, as clean as I want to make it. So this ring only goes in one way. If I can even see it here. <laughs> you 
You see that? Yeah, see that little pin right there? That corresponds with a, a ring. It has a little divot there on the end of the ring groove or gap. So that enters, it nests into that pin. There you go. See that? See that how that works? So you want to make sure you got that the right way around. I'm just going to try this in here before I put the thing on the saw. Makes compression. There we go. Actually, I think I'm just going to leave that right like that. I'll push the pin in. I've never done this before. I've never, I've never rebuilt or worked on a chainsaw before, ever. Not to this degree. So if you see me doing something dumb, let me know. Well, probably prying a piston ring out of a melted piston is Kind of dumb, but <laughs> I think I can make this saw work. So that's what I'm doing. Like I said, it's a bush fix. Nothing more than a bush fix. And you know, I didn't put any oil on this ring, and I'm not going to because I figure as soon as the saw gets enough gas and oil mixture running through it, everything's going to be oiled. And I don't even oil, when I put pistons in a four-stroke engine, I don't oil the rings either. I assemble the pistons I put a little bit of oil on the uh, skirt. Yeah, I just put a little bit of oil on the skirts on a on a four-stroke engine and leave the rings dry. So if you put a bunch of oil on the rings, as soon as the thing fires up, uh, I've been told by somebody that I highly respect that that oil turns to carbon behind the rings and it can lead to problems breaking in so um, there you go that's why I don't do it so I, having said that I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on this piston skirt Just a tiny little bit. There, it's good enough for me. I'm gonna find this pen. Make sure it's clean ish. <laughs> it's a pretty clean rag. Okay, let's see how this goes. Just put this 
this in here part way. This uh, pin was hard to get in, or hard to get out rather. Looks like it's going to be hard to get in too. Okay, that's going in now. I guess that's a floating pin, I guess, or maybe it's supposed to not, it's not supposed to spin, no, it's not supposed to spin in the piston because it's got a needle bearing on the rod. So now i got to <laughs> push it in the rest of the way here somehow. It's not going to be easy. I don't think this is the way to do it. I just thought it'd be easier than trying to get the rings in after the things all together. No, no, it wants to slide in easy. Sticking out too far. There we go. Well, if I don't put the clips in, that'll be pretty dumb. Oh no. Whew, there it is. <laughs> That'll be the end of it if this clip goes flying off down on the floor somewhere and hides on me. I'll be throwing this thing in the box and sending it to Ryan with a note. Missing clip. in. Okay, properly seated in the groove. I was just about to say I'm a chainsaw mechanic, but let's see if this thing will run. Then I'll say I'm a chainsaw mechanic. I 
Be careful, the ring will come out and then I'll have to do it the other way. Okay, that clip went in nicely. Down she goes. Compression. What I found interesting is this saw doesn't appear to have metric fasteners on it. I had to use a standard Allen key to fit this screw. Be all metric. This is a 3/16 Allen key, and the uh, four was too small, and the five was too big. And like everything. There's probably a torque spec for these, but I don't know what it is. So, I could probably look it up, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to snug them down. The real chainsaw mechanic would look this torque spec up, I know. What have I done with the screws? I thought I saw them here. What the heck happened to them? <laughs> oh boy. There's another one. Oh, there they are. They're all here. I just got these seated. I believe they're all seated. Yep. There we go. I'm just going to see what it feels like now. have huge compression I didn't think it would now I'm going to torque these put my special torque adapter on here it 
Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. And tighten up. Probably even have more compression now. Yeah, all good. There's a little crack in my fuel pickup hose here. Yeah, I think it's all the way through. And I hope it'll it'll still run. It doesn't have to run. I don't want I don't care if it runs super good. I just want it to run, and then I'm gonna send it to Ryan. He can get it going nice. Okay. Yeah, so these are this carb screw fits a four. I don't know if that means it's the right one, but that's what it fits. I've lost something. Here it is. Carburetor linkage. Uh -oh. I think it was like that. It must have been like that. Couldn't have been like this. No. I like fixing things. You know the if you if you put a piston and a new ring in this thing, it would be just perfect, right? That's really what it needs. It needs a piston and a ring to make it good. Who's that guy? It's just going to run as it stands. Where did that come from? A chunk of foam in there. Well, I'll blow it out after. Okay, let's tighten everything up here. Just snug these tiny screws. Snug for you might be more snug than, than it is for me, or less snug, but just don't go crazy. Okay, a couple of lines to hook up. Now this fuel line is, is no good. Probably going to suck air. I 
know it's going to suck here. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to squirt a little bit of gas in here. Let's see if this thing will flash up. I'm going to, it's turned on. Okay, there we go. Let's give it a little drink. It's good now. Still doesn't have any spark. Hmm. Let's stop. That's run. Take that spark plug out. Okay, I got the plug out and it does make spark. And while I was at it, I did a little compression test on it. And it does have compression. It has 90 pounds of compression. Put some gas right in there. So, I would say the thing should probably run. Maybe I flooded it. I don't know. We're going to see what happens here. some gas in it and see if it'll keep running yahoo this saw hasn't run in over 10 years no well, yeah probably 10 years it hasn't run I've lived here for seven years and we've had it that long sat in the shop for two so nine nine ish years Got some gas in it now. Give it another little dosage.
well, I'll be. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to open the door. Okay, good. So, put this back together. I'm going to put a pipe on it. And then I'm going to send it to Ryan. See if it'll flash back up. Pipe time. Okay, I couldn't uh, send mine without building a pipe for it, so <laughs> here it is. Kind of reminds me of uh, those Rams head um, hood ornaments on Dodge pickups. Not the ram horn, but the ram's head, right? Or a little bit like a hammerhead shark, depending on how you look at it. This is kind of fish-like, this whole thing here. <laughs> Serpent-like. Anyways, it's kind of, it, it's, it's definitely a bear, cro uh, bear claw derivative. Let's see a hunk of uh, let's see a, a BB there. So I'm going to uh, mount this on the saw and see if we can get it to crack. I haven't started the saw since the other day. So, um, anyways. Let's put it on here. I'm just going to blow this thing out first. I didn't really have a plan for this pipe. But, well, I sort of did, but it just kind of evolved as I went. It's kind of hard to get on because it splays the studs because it's wider here than the holes in the flange. I think uh, I, was, I thought about that as I was building it, but I thought, you know, it'll spread, right? And it does, but it doesn't make it hard to put on. So it's probably wider than it needs to be, and I won't do that again, I don't think. This is another pipe that took you know, way more time than I thought it would take to build. But that's just the way they're going. These things take time. I think we've got tools in here. Yep, a few. And this pipe sticks out probably too far, really. It doesn't it doesn't stick out past the dogs. will get into the wood I think if you're buried all the way in see it sticks out for a bit but it's just the way this one worked out I 
I don't know if you noticed in the when I started this thing up the first time I kind of smoked the clutch on it it was uh, the brake was on it's kind of hard to tell if the brakes on when you're you don't have a chain on it so that's off right so let's see if this thing will fire up Gonna go. Got a little dribble of gas in there. machine he can uh, work his magic on this thing he's gonna watch the video so he'll you know what's going on like I said this is not a what I would call a reliable fix I mean it might run forever bro well, as, as long as a chainsaw will run that is it might uh, it might be okay it might um, wear in nice and just be fine, you know. I, I, I don't know, but I, I, after having seen that piston and what I had to do to it personally, I, 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 I wouldn't feel confident relying on this saw as, a, as my main saw in, the, in its current condition. So, but that's why I'm sending it away. I got Ryan to do some work on it and uh, He'll, he's likely going to put a piston in it. I think he'll agree with me that the uh, the cylinder's fine. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Not uh, not bad, really. <laughs> a little bit of carburetor tuning, a fuel pickup hose, and uh, this would probably be a good saw just as is. Uh, we want more. We always want more, don't we, as human beings? <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, there we go. Um, thanks for watching, and stick around. You'll see that, that our, my dyno, dyno results are coming. Pipes aren't there yet, but the, I'm eagerly anticipating it, as you probably all are too. See you next time. Thanks for watching.